Hiya, so, and this is the second machine, my favourite one for scoliosis that I have in my therapy room, is the uh, inversion table. <laughs> um, uh, both of these, both of the traction and the inversion tables you can buy online, and they are quite pricey, but people often sell them second hand for a lot cheaper. So have a look on, um, you know, Facebook market and cheaper places. Yeah, so you've got the... Um, you can see for the feet you can hook them under so they hook hook the ankles secure so you can just hang and you and you're hung up by your feet um, and this was the uh, the most ancient when you research method for scoliosis that the ancient Greeks used to use where they would do exercises hanging upside down so let's um I it is designed to do on your back to slot the feet in under the hook and just to go literally go back <laughs> and um, obviously if you have a spinal fusion go very slowly <laughs> to start with um, don't go, don't do what I just did but just gradually gradually put yourself back and um, sometimes I like to hang in all different angles so what I do is I feel for where there's comp too much compression in the spine and it's hurting the joints and I just hold it in that position and that's like helping lower down and then I'm going further back further back and it's helping higher up in the fraco lumbar now and then I'm down hanging all the way up to the upper thoracic and then I go all the way and then I'm feeling it all into my neck and head even the shoulders and it is nice to hang the arms hold them out like wings um, and yeah it's wonderful wonderful to ease compression and create traction of the of the vertebra as well um, but you can't do a lot unfortunately with your feet hooked like that so for me the way I get more I can actually do exercises in um, using this machine is I actually take I don't I actually have my feet unhooked which is a bit more dangerous but because I was born in this position <laughs> I will I will hold on and I will hang like this and I will do exercises for my abs um, and I will literally like go into it looks very gymnastic -y. I used to love gymnastics as well but I will go into my position of birth and I will try and positional release I will try and you know, I'll hang and I will, I can feel, you're just, you're just feeling, for pro you're just trying to get, trying to find your proprioception um, in whatever position the body, the nervous system is wired to remember where it is stuck. So when you have a traumatic event like a birth, like a breech birth, you know, the nervous system will, it gets stuck and trapped in certain positions in, within the soft tissue because it's healing itself so initially it gets stuck when it's healing itself it's sending blood flow to protect that area but then unfortunately it doesn't the whole thing doesn't let go or unwind after because it's it's like creates an adhesion or a contracture sort of in that area where the trauma was so this is all about positional release um positional release is you know is is a kind of mainstay of um, allowing to release trauma and then rewiring the nervous system to connect back again. And the positional release allows you to get in a position you're stuck in within the adhesion or the scar or whatever, contract, um, you know, um, out of balance muscle. Um, and it allows you to get blood to that area and it allows the, the nervous system to gain propri more proprioception back to that area. But obviously there's only so much you can do with exercises um you know that's why you need you know you need hands-on you need the massage and sometimes you need the herbs internal medicines to work on those soft tissues that are stuck and um, there's all sorts of you know and heat and all sorts of therapies that can help release adhesions and traumatized frozen stuck areas but yeah i also like to go forward on this machine um Forward is a bit more dangerous, it's not really what it's designed for, but I will I'll hold on to the bars and do a bit of a nose dive uh, as I'm diving into water. Um, it's sort of like recreating a 
my correct birth position for myself. And yeah, I, I genuinely find that that this machine is great for releasing the, the area where my curve will rotate and compress the most is, is here for me. I have an S shape, the normal common S shape. And it, it really just helps when I have pain there to unwind and unstick, you know, this area in particular. And this helps me then find slightly more balance after. It's not it's not the best position like to get to, to to really strengthen the body you want to be more you want to be standing upright to really gain m muscle strength in a, you know in a new position but it's a great position for releasing um frozen stuck muscles and freeing up freeing up the upper body um and helping align the head and the neck um when you're upside down it's yeah it's great for that um so yeah these are my my two machines Let's. We can see the whole thing. My inversion machine, and my traction machine. Thank you for listening.